All right, now. I'm about to get to you. What I wish I would have done. If I could do it again. But let me make sure I got everything in here. I want to make sure I want to hit everything correctly now. Okay, bam. How oh, the hell my pen? Hold on, I need my pen. Man, my damn pen. Damn, I ain't got my pen. Hey, man, hey, but hey, the show must go on. The show must go on. All right, so I think I got it right because I know it, but I just want to be sure that I'm reading you if I'm doing the right thing. So, what I would do if I had to do it all over again, things I would do in order to become financially free sooner as a respiratory therapist to enjoy more of my money as a respiratory therapist to stack as much money as possible as a respiratory therapist now first things first that i would do bro listen to me the first thing i would do if i could do it over cut off that goddamn on rap music cut that damn rap music off why the hell would i say that okay now listen we know rap hip-hop it controls the culture. Think about it. Whatever these rap songs are talking about, like Christian Dior, Dior, I'm up in all the stores, a Mary Jeans and this and that. Put me in Prada, show me that you, if you proud of me, put me in Prada. Think about this stuff, man. That's the hottest fashion, that's hot. They got the Christian Dior, they got the Prada, double C's, the Chanel's, future. I just, just in some Gucci flip flops. I, then you would say all you seen was Gucci flip flops. I'm listening. It was Balenciagas, Gucci Gucci collars, Louis Vuitton. Unknowingly, I'm like, when I get up in the, all I wanted was a pair of arena Balenciagas. Had to get my Balenciagas. Had to jump on, jump on my designer game because that's what was. That's what it was. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. They control like the clothing and everything. Before it was designer. Like what they say, man, like the media kind of the media controls you. Like they say that media propaganda. Um, I never forget, I was in um what grade was I in? Junior year of high school. We went on Christmas break. I never forget it, man. Trill fam ENT, Bootsy and Webby. This was back when 106 and Park was jumping. It was New Year's Eve. Y'all know. Well, y'all man, I know see somebody maybe too young for 106 and Park, but if you know, come let me know that you know about 106 and Park, man. Top 10 countdown. They had the 106 and Park New Year's Eve bringing in, bringing in the New Year's celebration. Webby came on stage with Boosie singing his song. The man had on like some dickies and the tea. Now, mind you, back then it was all about Jabos. All, all we was rapping about was Jabos and Reeves and this and that. It was all about Jabos. Cool. I seen Dog had on some dicky, like some orange dickies. I'm a Trill fan fan, Webby fan, Boosie fan. I'm like, and Dog got the dickies on? All right. We came back from Christmas break. I was rocking. Dicky sack started became a, becoming a part of my, of my wardrobe now because I seen it. I seen my favorite rapper wearing it and all this here. So now I'm wearing, I'm wearing the gray dickies, the white and orange striped shirt, with the white, orange, and gray eights, the Jordans, the retro Jordans. I stayed matching, stayed doing my thing. I'm wearing a, I'm wearing a blue collar tee, white undershirt, gold dickies, white, blue, and gold spizzikes. I stayed fitted, but just seeing that put me on a whole different light. Okay, let me add, let me add that into my wardrobe. This hip hop, this music, they control the culture, man. We can't lie. What else they talking about? What they say? I just heard a song with like JT. Young Miami, still of the baby. You know, I'm, I'm old, man. Baby face all through here. She said something about, I'm the bomb. If you think, if you really the bomb, make them put Van Cleef on your arm. Now it's all about Van Cleef. Turn that rap music off. Like, hey, what I would have done. If I could do it over again, cut that damn rap music off. And that's why. All right, now number two. Turn off that social media, boy. Turn off the social media. Why? It's basically the same thing. Especially now, it's even worse. Like, it's nothing but promo. It's promoting. It's just making you spend money, making you want to, making you want to go and spend money. Everybody's showing the fits. Now you can actually like 
they got a feature where you can actually like tag the outfit, the, the tag the merchandise. You can tag some Air Force Ones. It'll be like Nike Air Force Ones. You can click on it. It'll take you straight to like Nike Air Force, Nike.com on the pair of Air Force Ones to buy it directly. Just by hitting that button. Excuse me. Then it's showing you people on um, vacation here, vacation there. They at this restaurant, that, that restaurant, they at this entertainment spot. The Miami Heat games, you can tap on and see what the, what the menu is. Now you want to go, I want to go there, that damn, that look good. I wanna, it's nothing but pro and promotion. It's making you get the money up. If I could do it over again, damn that social media. Unless you have a side business, side hustle, using it for that. That's why I came on social media, bro. I ain't got no, I ain't had no Facebook, none of that. My dog was like, bro, we got to get on Facebook. We got to get on Instagram, Instagram. I'm like, bro, I'm not doing it. I'm like, you know what, man? I'm finna get my big money bound website. I'm finna get my, I'm finna start my little merchandise. I'm finna jump on it. First thing I did, I jumped on there, created my, created my little profile, Randy P underscore BMB. Had to be something with BMB, let's know about the brand. That same night, I went to following so many people. I'm trying to just, I'm just trying to get my brand name in front of people, bro. I'm following, bro. Somebody, I'm following, bro. I'm following people. I don't even be. I'm Palm Beach State College following the whole damn school. I'm following so many people. A dog has somebody reach out to him like, hey, why is your friend following all my friends? Dog, lady, like, y'all sure they say you following all the friends? I'm like, damn, that was fast. Like, that's how social media works. So I did not see the power of social media. Mind you, I'm just, bro, trying to get big money bound in front of everybody, big money around. I got all these, got all these followers. So I just went and followed them. I ain't gonna lie to you, went and followed them. Then I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna start a YouTube. Cause then they'll go from here to there. When I saw the YouTube, they'll go from here to there. When I saw that damn YouTube, ain't nobody go from here to there. So it don't translate. And really, for every thousand subscribers you got on YouTube, that's equivalent to like 10K followers on Instagram, bro. So if you got 4,000 subscribers, 5,000 subscribers on YouTube, you really got 50,000 followers on IG, really. That's... That's the way that it, that it's more valuable on YouTube. First and first, they're paying you, bro. Instagram was paying you for a couple days. Now they stopped paying you. Now everybody got all these reels up they ain't getting paid for. But hey, that's another, that's another topic. Social media, it ain't nothing but making you spend money. And it's promoting every day, every day. Dang, that's a nice bag. What's she got? That's a nice shoe. What do you got on? Then it's, bro, I'm telling you, man. Turn off that social media, dog. If it wasn't for big money bound on YouTube, I wouldn't even be on it. I promise you, dog. I'll probably, I'll probably be on like, now, then they say Twitter. They say Twitter kind of X-rated. They say Twitter just straight X-rated. So I wouldn't even be on Twitter. I wouldn't. Bro, I'd be just laying low. Stacking mine, laying low, though. But I'm with this. I'm with, I'm an influencer, so I got to kind of have this stuff. So that's traditional. You restaurant, vacation spots, entertainment, the clothing situation. Okay. All right. Next thing. Stack that money for at least the first three years in that field. When you become a therapist, man, stack that money for the first three years. What that mean is stacking it for three years before you go on any vacation out of the country. Like I just said, hip hop controls the culture. Ever since Nipsey said, I dock in Tulum just to smoke. Tulum, Mexico. Everybody been going to Tulum. Don't even lie, bro. Come on now. You heard the you heard the victory lap. Everybody been going to Tulum. Now everybody been saying everybody going to Tulum. Tulum. Then everybody going there. Same thing with Dubai. Yeah, I'm going to go to Dubai, Dubai. I'm like, bro. Hey, no, cool. Travel, travel. But I'm like, I'm not really. I look, okay, I want to I wanna go to Dubai. That's why I wanted to go way back there. I'm like, okay. I pulled up Dubai on the map. Okay, that's Dubai. That's, that's Iraq. That's Saudi Arabia. I ain't not saying. I'm just saying. I, I'm saying I got scared. For why? Propaganda. The media. Because me, the media scares me. I'm like, yeah, I'm straight. I, then it's like, you going over there, it's some strict laws. If you're not married, bro, from what I heard, I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know. If you're not married, all that, holding hand in pub, holding hands in public, in public, sharing the same hotel room, you ain't married, that's something considered a crime over there. I know y'all been seeing lately, a lot of folks have been getting like arrested for like, especially women, for raising their voice too loud. Because that over there, all that women, hey, 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 you ain't in America, all that women rights and this and that, hey, hey, over there, the man is here, the woman is, hey, so tread lightly. Stack. I'm saying, I'm saying, sack your paper. Don't go out of the country. Now, you can do something like, I say, I say, really do something in you. Don't leave, don't leave your state. That's what I say. Do something in your, in your own state. 
But I can say that because I live in Florida. There's a lot of places to go in Florida. You got Orlando, you got Daytona, you got oh, you got Tallahassee. You got you can go a million places to go have a good time. You feel me? You go to Key West, Miami. So I'm just saying that maybe because I'm in Florida. But really stay in the States with your money. Don't really go too crazy because then three years of stacking. So when you finally get up out of that country, I did. I did do that. Once you finally get up out of that country, you can go do it big in a presidential suite and really like do it for real. Instead of like kind of trying to do it big when you ain't really got that big bag yet. Just let it stack. Bro, this place is ain't going. Bro, Dubai been here forever. Like these places is not going. Miami been here forever. Like these places is not going nowhere. Get right and then get by. Get right and then get it. Okay, man. Three years of stacking, bro. Three years of stacking. You just coming into the money. Feel me? You just coming into it. You ain't never had this money. But now you getting it. By stacking it, you can show yourself that you can keep it. That's one thing about this money, y'all. When you like, let's say you stack 10,000. You spend eight. Now you're back at two. You stack, you stack another 10. You spend six. Now you're back at four. Had you been stacking 10, 10, 10, you'd have been at 30K. Now, once you hit 30, you're going to realize that, damn, 30 ain't really what I thought it was. But if you never get there, you will never know. You will, you will never know that it's not really what you think it is until you get there. You hit the 50, 60, 70, 80. I got 80, I got 60. It's like, damn, if I spend 10, I'm back at 70. This ain't really what I thought it was. It give you a different it give you a different mindset, bro. So once you like, you hit for like a big lick, you get 25K, 30K for whatever, sign bonus, whatever, you like, I'm gonna hold on to it because that's not really a big money. That's not really a large amount of a large amount of money. Now, if you ain't never had 20 bands, you probably gonna think, damn, I got 20, I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna go spend 10,000 shopping, 10 dollars okay, cool. I'm gonna go there. You look back, you're gonna be like, damn. I went shopping 10K, got the design, I got the Chanel, went out to eat, went here, went there, went there, went Vegas, went this, that. But I got $2,500 left. What the hell that money went? It ain't what you think it is. But now if you stack it, you're gonna see. Damn, I had to really save all this money. I worked hard to get it. It can all be going in one transaction. I ain't giving it up. And then it's like, it's harder to give it up. You feel me? So, so I say, bro, stack it. If I can do it again, stacking it for three years. That's what I do. If you got a car, don't go buy another car. If you got a car, don't go buy. If I could do it over again, I had a car. Why did I go buy another damn car? Oh, but you know, I've been working hard. I want to go get this, go get that, bro. Stack your money, get a house, and then go get your car. That car is, bro, these cars going to be here. As soon as you drive off the lot, that shit is worth nothing. But I know we want this stuff. I want to get that. I want the Benz. I want the Lexus, the BMW. Hey, cool. You just got the money, dog. Chill. You got a car. You been getting from A to B with no problem? Keep laying low. Why you got a it's easier said than done, I know. But if I could do it all over again, this is what I would do. No new car. Like, I'm straight. I'm a, I still be riding. I don't know. Hold on. That's be a long ass time. I still riding a Nissan Altima. I don't know if I'd still be riding it. I probably would have bought another one. But I'd have stayed in that little Nissan. I'm telling you, bro. Man. All right, bro. Don't buy no new car. Nah. If you got a car, don't go buy a car. Now, if you don't have a car, go get you a car. Don't go get no damn luxury car you can't afford. But no, I'm going to get money I can't afford it. Are you sure? When you buy them luxury cars, and I know what come with that maintenance, I'm telling you. $2,500 maintenance. $3,000 for brakes. $1,600 for tires. Four new tires. And you get a nail in your tire. $400 for one more tire. I'm telling you now. I'm just saying. It's a lot more what come with these cars. But hey, if I could do it over again. If I could. I'm just saying what I would do to get free sooner. All right, now. Now, that was like outside of the hospital. Now, I'm going to take you inside of the hospital. If I could do it over again, what I would do and what I'm glad you, you should do. Once you get into that respiratory therapy department, link up with somebody who, where you trying to go, coming from where you just came from. How the hell am I gonna know that? You gotta listen. Your ears open. You gonna they gonna tell you. Damn man, I just, I just bought this house. Now I gotta do this to my driveway. I'm gonna paint my son's room. I'm gonna you feel me? I got this here. I just I just I just decorated my um my master bedroom. I did this. I just I just marble epoxy my 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 garage floor to my new house. Now you bought a new crib. 
You talking about family? Okay, that's what I'm on. That's what I'm at with it. Okay, cool, cool. Damn, man. Boy, if I could just go back to that one bedroom apartment I was in, man, when it was much more cheaper and times were less, less stressful. And, damn, one bedroom shack. One, that one bedroom. I just came from that one bedroom room. See, that's where I'm at right now, but I'm trying to get where you at. Yeah, let me let me holler at dog. Because one thing about this apartment, bro, when somebody talking like this, they came from here, they came from there, all they want to do is they winning. When you winning, you don't want to. You don't want to see nobody losing. You don't care who's losing. You don't want to see nobody lose. Now, when you losing, you may want to be on some envious jealousy that you don't want to see nobody win. That's some people. Not saying everybody, but when you winning, you damn sure don't want to see nobody lose, or you shouldn't want to. I don't want to see nobody lose if I'm winning. You feel me? And if I'm losing, I want to see somebody win so I can see the damn. It's possible. So once they see this, they're gonna they're gonna have no problem taking you up under their wing. But then you still gotta grow your own pill, now. You gotta get your own now. But get up on this wing, you know, learn how to fly and do your thing. It's all a torch passing system, bro. I look up to people, I see them like, damn, bro, I wanna get that one. Damn, they talking about homes and this and that. I'm listening, like, bro, family, they talking about kids, this and that. I'm, I'm listening, bro, I'm listening. I'm like, damn, okay, okay. Houses and cars, and I'm listening, like, bro, I'm going out here, going out that vacation, and bro, I'm soaking it in. I'm just, I ain't even got my first 5,000, but I hear you, I'm listening. I'm not, nah. People listening to me. Now, the people that's listening to me going to get to where I'm at. And the people going to be listening to them. It's nothing but a, a baton passing system. Like, bro, get in with them. I'm telling you. Secondly, you in that hospital, man. Do it all over again. I work until I'm sick. I mean, like, work until I'm sick. Like, bro, damn, now I'm passing out. Take him to the ER or something right with his head. Well, wait, you working too many days in a row. I only did 20, only did 25 days in a row. That's too many. Okay. Randy, why the hell would I work until I'm sick? Why, why would you tell me to do that? Because now you know your limit. Yes, push it to the limit. 25 days is my limit, okay? So once I get to 21, 22, let me chill. You feel me? Go get the fat. Hey, bro, I'm just saying, like, if I can do it over again, dog, I know, I like, bro, I found my limit. I found my limit. I found mine. I was in, bro. See, certain stories I ain't always touch on, but it's been, bro, I got so sick, bro, I was like, I got sick and lightheaded, like, whoa, something ain't right, I gotta go to the doctor, bro, what the hell? I was in the doctor's office, like, hey, man, I got insurance, what's going on? Like, yeah, man, you just overworking yourself, you gotta chill and relax, man, I'm like, cool, so now I know what it is, but I did, I did it, and I still do it again, because you gotta know what's your limit. I know what my limit was, how many days was that? 21, don't do, don't do 20, three weeks, three weeks in a row. I'm, I live it. I'm saying though, do it all over again. I wouldn't be scared. I would not be scared. Like some of y'all probably watching this right now. You scared? What you scared of? Oh, like you know, you comfortable in this hospital? You been you you don't been in this hospital for so many years, and now you comfortable. You know the system. You know the people. You know you know the hiring spots. You know how to chart. You know how to get away with certain stuff. But it's a better opportunity out there for you somewhere else. But you kind of hesitant to go in there because you kind of. You're scared, bro. Don't be scared, nah. If I could go back, I wouldn't be scared. It's a better opportunity. You got that license, bro. If you got a license, you, you can get a job. You got a license, you got a resume, you got experience. You can get a job. You ain't just abandon no job. You did a two weeks notice. You can always get a job, man. You can't be scared. Bro, I don't be scared. Better opportunity somewhere. Now nah, I'm kind of comfortable here, man. COVID pandemic. Shit, I'm scared. Mr. Lisa caught me. I'd be up a... Imagine how I feel, bro. I'd be up a quarter million. Only reason why I don't trip, because I'm blessed for what I did get, and I never got COVID, and my child was conceived during that time. I would have been away. My child was conceived. That's why I don't be like, hey, no, my, no amount of money means more to me than my son. So, hey, that's why I don't trip. But had I went, I'd have been up a quarter million. Feel me? But my son was conceived during that time. I had to be here. I had to be home. Watch the belly. Make sure three months come by. Once we got three months, hey, I got to go get it. You feel me? Make sure everything was straight. So if you see a better opportunity, don't be scared. I always wanted to travel. I just, I just need the one year of experience. Like, yo, when I get that one year, I'm going to go travel. Man, I was so scared to leave that damn job. Man, I was broke. I'm like, this was one year. I'm getting money. I want to get a house. I, I could have um, it's been travel money out there, dog. But it took for that pandemic fund, <laughs> that, uh, them pandemic funds to come around for me to say, you know what? I'm finna go and get this fatty, dog. So, I wouldn't be scared. Wouldn't be scared. I would better set up 
looking back, I had better set up my benefits to my 401k package bar. I would not be given, I would not be picking a 401k package that say retire in 25 years if I can't get my money in 25 years. I'm saying, yo, I'm gonna I'm I'm pick that retire in 20 years package. They taking out 12%, 11% of my whole check and I won't, I won't be able to get this money until I turn 64. And I'm 22 and I got, and I got, and I got 20 year package that I'll be 42. And I can't get none of that money until I'm 64. What the hell am I doing? I want to better understand my benefits. Why the hell am I paying for the most expensive damn healthcare benefit package when I ain't got no damn health problems? I ain't got no previous like mental illnesses. No previous. What they call it, man? Y'all know some. Um, what they call it, man? When it's like <clears throat> you got pre medical conditions, so certain like insurances won't take you type stuff. You feel me? I ain't got no damn problems. I got the most most expensive damn package just in case I get man like bro, I ain't no need for all that. Like, come on now. So I better pick my benefits package. Now the, that's that's those things. Now the last thing I'm gonna tell you is like outside of the hospital, what I would what I would have done if I could go back. Financial literacy, bro. I would read up on financial literacy, like them books that I'm reading now. Richest man in Babylon is number one. Go get that. Richest man in Babylon. Then the second one is million door, millionaire next door. Then the third one. Did I read the third one? I'm stuck on the third one right now. It's kind of it's, it's weak. I ain't gonna lie. That, that book is weak. I ain't. It's, I stopped reading because it was so weak. It was just. It was getting good, but then I may finish it. It was weak, dog. Like your money or your life. It started off great, but then it get, get kind of it get a little too too damn database. Millionaire next door was like a lot of data, but it was kind of still broke. It was like real, still making you read. Not this time. I'm like your money and your life is just doing like damn calculations and math problems. Like, I don't feel like doing that. I want to read. I'm, I bought a book to read. You feel me? Not, I, I didn't buy a workbook. I bought a book. <laughs> I didn't buy no damn workbook, man. So, financial literacy be big. Reading. YouTube financial literacy. It's so much stuff I don't learn in the past eight to nine months. From like just researching on YouTube, how to get financial freedom. Pay off your mortgage faster. What is it? I don't learn so much, bro. People don't gave me so much game. And it's probably people that wouldn't even talk to me directly and tell me this stuff, but they're doing it for the masses. And I'm just, I just snuck in. Okay. And I'm, my dog said, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, appreciate it. I'm going to say this back to my folks and let them know about it. This is a appreciate it, dog. Now, in person, you probably wouldn't even tell me. I'm not talking to this young mother, but you feel me? But on YouTube, everybody's trying to get paid. Just put out their plot, put out their own, their content. You can soak it all up. But I'll be on YouTube for sure, like getting all that financial advice. Another thing, save his accounts. Checking accounts. I would have a high yield savings account, bro. All my banking is online anyways. Why would I not have an online bank that's not a brick and mortar system which is giving you more interest for your money? Bro, I would not be inside no damn bank, bro. From day one, I have a high yield savings account, online bank account. My, my, my direct deposit going straight to my online bank, 100%. I have a brick and mortar bank just to pull out money from the ATM. That's all, bro. From the beginning, if I could do it all over, that's what I would do. If you ain't got no high yield savings account, no online bank account, Go get one. I ain't going to say you're tripping because you probably don't know. Go and get one, man. Which one should I get? YouTube. How do I find out about mine? I YouTubed it. And I wasn't even looking for it. I'm looking at how to get free this and that. Save money with how your savings account. Man, what the hell? You said I could have been getting 5.1% interest on my money instead of 0 0.001? So you tell me. I don't spend three years of all this money in the bank account. And I made $13.48. I could have made six thousand ninety eight hundred, six thousand nine hundred eighty dollars. Come on, bro! Almost seven grand of just passively by just letting my money sit there. And had I seen that, I'd have put more money in there. Hey, dog! If I could do it all over again, that's what I'd do. I know it's like I get a little, my voice, my tone go up. I'm just like passionate. I'm excited about it.